What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the most tastiest white chocolate, cranberry and macadamia cookies. These are soft, chewy and have an awesome crispy shell. We will start this off by preheating our oven to 170 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit on fan force. Then either using a handheld mixer or a stand mixer we're going to add half a cup of softened unsalted butter to a bowl, add in half a cup of granulated white sugar and half a cup of light brown sugar. Then we are going to start this off on a low speed to allow it to combine and not fly out of bowl all over our kitchen. After about 10 seconds, increase the speed to high and beat this until it's smooth. And this should take about two minutes. Add in one large free range egg and three quarters of a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Place the mixer back onto a low speed for 10 seconds and then increase the speed to a high for one minute to form a smooth paste. And it should look like this. We're then going to add in one and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And this is also known as bicarbonate of soda. Place onto a low speed for 10 seconds again to avoid the flour going everywhere. Then increase the speed to a high and mix until just incorporated. We want to make sure we don't overwork the gluten in the flour. Scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure there's no flour hiding anywhere. Then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of white chocolate chips, three quarters of a cup of chopped macadamia nuts, and three quarters of a cup of dried cranberries. Fold all of that through and make sure it's all evenly combined throughout the mix. Then this part's optional, but I like to spray my baking trays with a small amount of oil spray, and this will allow the baking parchment to stick. Then with one tablespoon scoops, I'm going to roll them in my hands to form a ball. Then I'm going to place them onto our prepared pan, leaving about a two inch gap between the edges of the pan and the next cookie. And then very lightly press down onto the cookie. Now let's place these in our preheated oven and bake this for 11 minutes. I know on most recipes, you'll see that it'll always have an even number for a cooking time, but these cookies are perfectly done after 11 minutes. Then after 11 minutes, the cookies have spread out really well. They are nice and golden, and these smell absolutely fantastic. We are now going to leave these on the tray for five minutes, just to allow them to cool down a little bit. Then after five minutes, we're going to transfer these over to a cooking rack to completely cool down. These biscuits can most certainly be eaten straight away, but if you are not going to eat them all, allow them to completely cool down and transfer them to an airtight container. And there they can be stored for up to two weeks in a cool dark space. Let's give one of these a try. And you can see that that is really soft. The flavor on that is amazing. It's so soft, chewy, and has a delicious crunch onto the shell. You've got the white chocolate, the macadamia nuts, and the cranberries that all work so well together. This is definitely a must try recipe, I highly recommend. These biscuits are really delicious. I can guarantee you that you'll impress yourself, your friends and your family. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. I post three videos a week with recipes, tips, tricks and secrets. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.